we don't we don't want to get so far out that we we have they have a rebuttal saying that you know he, he, you know we want as many people supporting what we're doing as possible. Uh, could you give us some thought as to how to work that? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I think it needs to be extremely broad, so we have lots of nails to hang our hat on. Right, but uh, but what I'm saying is, is, the broader you make anything, the more toes you step on. That's right. The more opposition, and, and we just want to make it to where we're protected from that in any way we can. If you'll take that into consideration. Well, I think that if we work this in reverse from here to Bear County and then back to the state. Um, I think we'll be successful with, with getting this accomplished. Well, what is it uh, with uh, when they have shows like those? When they have the Latino person with uh, the snake county? Yeah, that would be, those guys are permitted. The, the thing that makes me nervous about that, and you just you just never know. Okay? I mean, what, what if a bucking horse gets loose, uh, loose and, and yeah. kicks their container or somebody gets bit? If you don't have antivenom, IV, you're dead in 30 minutes. And, and here's the other thing. The, the antivenoms are macro proteins. Macro proteins are known to cause horrific anaphylactic reaction. You can kill a person giving them an antivenom. And who's going to have a, a, a liter of LRS so that they could dilute it and, and give a mainline to you? So that would be something. That was something I was hoping we'd talk about as well. That we're getting a little bit far out there. Uh, with allowing this to come in at the peanut festival and stuff when they bring a, an extremely dangerous snake like that. Were they actually brought a cobra in? No, no the rabbit snake. snake. Oh, right. the did snake. they not, did, did they have cobras here this year? I thought somebody told me that. I, I didn't, didn't see them. I didn't see them. Oh, no. there, but they I We're not looking. You know. Maybe a little, but I didn't see them. No, I didn't see them. But the, 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 the city limits. You know, the rattlesnakes are stupid and dangerous and everything, but nothing like the cobra. No. Well, that was that was the owner's uh, argument to me. He says they're no different than a loaded gun. I said, well, listen, the thing about a loaded gun, where you lay it, that's where it's going to lay. This, these things are aggressive. They actually stalk you. Their cobras are known to kill entire families. And so, this is a gun that cocks itself and points it at you wherever you're going, and they're and they're very aggressive. Unlike a rattlesnake, rattlesnakes are very submissive and very evasive. They do not want confrontation. They just want it. That's why they rattle to get away. Uh, cobras, exact opposite. And, and I they'll come get you. I guess that's one of the. I don't want to sound like whatever, but that's one of the items I'm talking about. As far as like the rattlesnake deal, it is dumb, and I, I can't see any reason for it. But unless you know, they need to be required to have some kind of special whatever to do it. But if we encompass those things, then we lose, say, like the. Representatives from from uh, Duval County or, or whatever, as far as supporting this, which has, makes no sense. It's not here. It's not established. So we want to be careful. We want to make it as broad as we can, but we want to make it to where we don't alienate a bunch of support that we could otherwise have. So I think the term non-indigenous will really help us because you know rattlesnakes are here. So if God wants to breed them and study them, that's his business. Um, but the non-indigenous will, will completely exclude all this ludicrousy that's going on. And, it's, and it's, unfortunately, if people don't think, we have to think for them. And you know, I hate making laws and I hate taking uh, people's rights from them, but it's no different than a speed, well, but speed, you, speed sign. The, the difference is, though, uh, you've got rights that you grew up with is here, and you're at your Adopted something else that's outside of what you're right. So when we go bring things in that's harmful to other people and harmful to us, uh, this has the potential just to be akin to yelling and fire in a theater. I mean, you, you have rights, but you don't have rights. Um, the the uh, definition, uh, Bernard pointed out while ago to me, is that in the subchapter, wild animal means a non domestic animal that the commissioner's court of the county determines is dangerous and is in need of control. So that's off the draw. So, and, and I agree is that we have to watch so that we, that we don't come up with something where we don't get any support, but we need to take it right up to the bounds of that, I think, whatever that bounds I think, is. And I can't say the term said, but. <laughs> The term you use, indigenous. No, it's non indigenous. Non -indigenous. Means that they, 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 they're, they're not long here. Part of the, I think they're not found. Part of it. Uh, 
I mean, in, in Florida, they'd even been. I remember overseas there was this catfish that was washed from one pond to another. Yes, and when I tell people that, they would eat crazy. you must have been really drinking over there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but that was introduced in Florida, actually, and, and they, they're doing great damage to, the, to, to Florida. I mean, there's so many things like that, you know. But uh, well, we appreciate your time. Thank Come you very much. We'll, we'll work together. <coughs> I appreciate you. Thanks, sir.